In today's video we are going to be creating a little program in Python that converts the temperature from degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. Okay, so you've got this question being asked here, enter the temperature in degrees Celsius. Now let's just say we type in 30 degrees, press enter, and Python will then say the converted temperature is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, simple little program with just some basic maths. So let's get started on making it. In the Python shell when you first open it, I just want you to go to File and then New File. Okay, you can close the Python shell off if you'd like, so you've just got this blank screen open. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to ask the user a question to work out what degrees Celsius we need to convert. Okay, so we're going to create a variable first of all called Celsius. And that's going to store the information that the user types in, or the number that the user types in. So Celsius equals input is the reserved word for asking a question. So input, and then in brackets and quotation marks, we'll just ask the user to enter the temperature in degrees Celsius. Celsius. I'm spelling this wrong. Um, and then I'll put in a colon, a space, close the quotation marks, and close the brackets. Now, there's one little thing we need to do here. At the moment, when the user enters in their degree Celsius, the computer will think that the user's typing in a string of characters, which is basically a str string of letters. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that the computer knows that the user is typing in numbers. Okay, because we're going to be, be performing some calculations on this number shortly. And if the computer thinks it's a string of characters, it's not going to work out for us. So before the word input, I want you to write INT. And then a bracket, and at the very end, close the bracket. This INT here is just telling the computer that what we're going to be typing in here is going to be an integer, or a whole number. Okay, so it converts whatever this string is here into an integer. All right, that's pretty straightforward. On the next line, we're going to perform the calculation. So what we're going to do is create another variable, this time called Fahrenheit. I think that's how you spell it. So this variable Fahrenheit is equal to Celsius. So whatever the user typed in up here in Celsius, and it's stored in our Celsius variable, will now come down here. It'll be Celsius times 9. So our multiplication symbol is the little asterisk. So Celsius times 9, and then we divide that by 5 plus 32. Okay, it's a weird little formula, but there it is there. That's how we work out the Fahrenheit. Celsius times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. Once we've got that sorted, we're just going to print a message. So write in the word print, open up your brackets and quotation marks, we'll write the converted temperature is, and then close the quotation marks and put a comma in, and we'll write the word Fahrenheit, put another comma, and then in quotation marks we'll write degrees Fahrenheit. Oops. Okay, full stop. Close the quotation marks, close the brackets. Okay, so we are printing a message that says the converted temperature is Fahrenheit. So whatever the outcome of this formula is, we'll go in there and we'll just finish off with degrees Fahrenheit. Let's give that a bash and we'll see if it works. So you need to save it first of all by pressing Control S. I'm just going to call it Temp Converter. And save it. And then we can press F5 or go up the top and run that module. So it says enter the temperature in degrees Celsius, let's put in 20, press enter, it says the converted temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it, couldn't get much more simple than that. So save that up and I'll see you in the next video.